Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. The moon shows you the way to Venus and Mercury, plus, which is the shortest season? Hey there, Stargazers. I'm Dean Regas from the Cincinnati Observatory, and I'll be your guest host this month on Stargazer. Next week is a great time to enjoy the moon near Venus and Mercury in the pre-dawn skies. The best four days will be Friday, January 28th through Monday, January 31st. On Friday morning, just before sunrise, look in the southeast and find the brilliant planet Venus. A skinny, waning crescent moon will be about 20 degrees up to Venus's right. Saturday, it will be skinnier and just to the right of Venus. Sunday, it'll be just below Venus and skinnier yet. And then on Monday, an even skinnier moon will be down and to the left of Venus. The toughest day will be February 1st, Tuesday morning, about half an hour before sunrise. The morning sky will have started to get bright, but just above the horizon, an amazingly skinny moon will be just above Mercury. It'll be tough to find, and you'll need a clear flat horizon, but it will be an impressive sight if you can find it. Now I bet that most of you are under the impression that the four seasons are equal in length, when in fact none of them are the same number of days and nights long. So which season is longest and which is shortest? Well, I'm sure most school children would say that summer is the shortest because it seems to just fly by. But is that true or is it simply a matter of human perception? Let's find out. Okay, now everyone knows that our Earth makes one trip around the sun once a year. In fact, astronomically speaking, that's exactly what a year is, the amount of time it takes for any planet to make one trip around the sun. And one Earth trip is 365 and a quarter Earth days long. Now, according to Kepler's laws of motion, the closer a planet is to the sun, the faster it will travel. The farther it is from the sun, the slower it will travel. So, because our Earth's orbit is not a perfect circle, but is a slightly stretched out circle called an ellipse, and since our Sun is not at the center of this ellipse, our Earth actually varies its distance from the Sun during the year. When it's closest to the Sun, it travels fastest, and when it's farthest, it travels slowest. Now, believe it or not, our Earth is actually closest to the Sun in January and farthest in July. So our Earth actually travels faster when it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere and slower during the summer. Let me show you. Okay, on the first day of spring, our Earth is traveling at a speed of 66,900 miles an hour and is moving farther from the sun and slowing down. Therefore, it takes 93 days to go from the first day of spring to the first day of summer. So spring is 93 days long. Then the Earth continues to slow down until it is at its farthest point from the Sun on the first week of July, when it reaches its slowest speed of 65,500 miles an hour. Thereafter, because it's starting to move back closer to the Sun, it slowly starts to speed up. Even so, it takes 94 days for our Earth to travel from the first day of summer to the first day of fall, which makes summer 94 days long. Then as it moves closer and closer to the sun, it picks up more speed day by day, so that it only takes 90 days to travel from the first day of fall to the first day of winter. Thus fall is 90 days long. And our Earth continues to speed up until it reaches its closest point to the sun, the first week of January, zipping along at 67,600 miles an hour, which is 2,200 miles an hour faster than its speed in July. In fact, it only takes 89 days for our Earth to go from the first day of winter to the first day of spring. So even though summer feels like the shortest season to any school kid, winter is actually five days shorter and is the shortest season of the year for the Northern Hemisphere, and summer is the longest. In the Southern Hemisphere, it would be just the reverse. So happy shortest season of the year, and look at the moon by Venus and Mercury next weekend. Keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95.